we are having a brand new program mentorship program starting this month of june you do not want to miss it you are called to ministry you believe you have a call you believe god wants you to go to the next level make sure you want to sign up on dr otis there's a contract there with all the information that you need i'm your personal mentor and i'm here to help you and to take you to the next level in god see you there Keys for Spiritual Warfare that has been released a few months now. Keys for Spiritual Warfare right here on Amazon. You can just look for um, uh, Keys for Spiritual War Warfare, a book from Dr. Odisman. Of course, you can go to my personal website, drodisman.com. You'll get an audio version only available on my website. And also, you can also get an uh, ebook on my website. On Amazon, you can get a physical book or an ebook. Amen. So you can go right there. You can go to any one of my websites. Information will be on your screen. You can also get it at Kingston Bookshop. You can get it at all of our church branches. And of course, that all important number, call that number and we'll be happy to give you some information on how to get it and you'll be able to get your copies in Fontana Pharmacies Island wide Pastor Reverend Dr. Otis Manning welcoming you to another program of its series Divine Encounter. Listen, every week is always our privilege and our pleasure to have you here for our service. Always a blessing to have you and I pray that God has been indeed moving in your life. I know you've been seeing the testimonies you've been watching week after week and you've been encouraged. I want you to know that God loves you, he cares and whatever you are going through, God wants to bring forth your salvation, your deliverance and your transformation and listen there's a word coming up i want you to stick around amen and watch as we proceed 16 Luke chapter 4 verses 16 let's get there this will not be concluded today i must warn it's a start of a series i don't know how long it will take me to go through it and um, hopefully we, at the end i can help you let's go luke chapter 4 verse 16 yes and he came to Nazareth, mm -hmm. where he had been brought up, mm -hmm. and as his custom was, uh -huh. he went into the synagogue. And as what? As his custom was. I write that down. That is one of the biggest things we deal with in church that we have not gone over yet. Customs. Customs are killers everywhere why am i sharing about custom there are things that we take as customs and we've made them into doctrine make sense everybody with me so far there are things that are customs and we make them into doctrine example like in africa a lot of the things they are customs but they made them into doctrine like bowing down in front of people that's a custom that they brought into the church it's not scriptural Make sense? As a matter of fact, I can prove that you're not supposed to do it. The Bible says that there was a certain man, a man named uh, John the Revelator. An angel was there and John bowed down. And the angel said, get up, don't do that. Angel tell him, don't bow down before me. I'm a fellow servant like you. Don't bow down before me. So it's not him supposed to be done. But there are many times that we take traditions and we take uh, customs and make them into doctrine. And so if somebody don't do it this way, you're rude. You're out of all right can we get into something so jesus enters into church and let's read as the custom was what he, he went, went in. into the synagogue uh -huh. on the sabbath day uh -huh. and stood up for to read so every sunday now watch this every sabbath they go to church they stand up and read do you know many people come to this church or some people go to other church and they can't function you know why anybody know why customs are different by the way, this is a fact. The custom of the people every Saturday, there is a reading of the scripture. They're about to see something they've never seen before. What are they about to see? Let's read the scripture and see if we can pull it out. Read. And there was delivered unto him uh -huh. book the book of, of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah the prophet. And when he had opened the book, he found the place where it's written. Go ahead. The spirit of, the, spirit the, of the Lord is upon me. Upon read. Me. Because really? he hath anointed me uh -huh. to preach the gospel to the poor. Now what is he saying? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me and he's preaching. And at the end of this, let's go to the end of it. Next verse. Or next two verses. Next verse. And he closed the book. Uh -huh. Hear what he does. Uh -huh. And he gave it all again to the minister uh -huh. and sat down. Listen now. 
and the eyes of all them that were in the synagogue were what were fastened on him why were they looking on him watch this now he's about to make it worse now jesus knows how to mess up the parties read on <laughs> and he began to say unto them he knows how to mess with customs read on this day this day what is done is this scripture fulfilled in your ears you're a madman you are mad this day this scripture has come to pass jesus you are mad let's hear what the guys have to say before i get into anything else what did they say and all bear him witness uh -huh. and wondered at the gracious words which proceeded they are wondering what is this man said watch this now read on and they said they said is not this joseph's son is not this joseph's son read and he said unto them uh-huh ye will surely say unto me this proverb uh -huh. physician heal thyself, heal thyself. Uh -huh. whatsoever we have heard done in capernaum do also here in thy country thank you let's look what is the problem jesus comes read the bible and he says now is the scripture fulfilled now here are the things you need to look on the question i ask what is the anointed who is the anointed who, what's the anointing tradition is if you are anointed the tradition is a priest must get oil and pour out on you this is not called oliver oil somebody come to church and say pastor pray for me olive oil for me <laughs> believe it or not it's true it's not olive oil neither is it olive oil it's called consecrated oil or holy anointing oil when the holy oil eats you you become holy anybody heard what i just said let me go again when holy oil hits you you become holy everybody with me so far now what is happening here this is what's happening jesus has not been publicly anointed no priest has pulled him out no priest has poured oil on him and he reads the scripture <laughs> out of all the scriptures in the bible the spirit of the lord is upon me for he had have anointed me so the question everybody is when did they anoint this man when our customs and our tradition is that oil must be poured upon you how can you say you're anointed so everybody is wondering what is this guy talking of isn't this joseph's son he is not from the priest everybody who is from the priestly lineage comes from one tribe levi Judah, jesus on the other side is from the kingly tribe which is judah everybody with me so far 12 sons of of israel make sense levi the levitical tribe judah the kingly tribe everybody with me so far that's where Ju david is from now jesus reads something let's go back to what he reads then we can break down what the difference between the anointing and the anointed let's go go back to the verse 18 yes let's go there everybody uh focus your eyes on verse 18 bring it on the screens for us so it will help those who are watching so they don't have to jump on their bible on the phone and skip and miss let's go the spirit of the lord uh -huh. is upon me uh-huh because he hath anointed, anointed me stop the spirit of the lord is upon me why he hath anointed so the spirit would not be there if what he was not anointed. if he was not anointed. so the spirit therefore comes upon you, you after you are, anointed. you are anointed let's clap your hands for jesus you are doing good <laughs> should i prove that truth to you eh? so the next time somebody said to you i am anointed ask them one question what have you done since you are anointed, what have you done? The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Stay tuned. We will be right back after right, God these bless messages. You. This is your pastor, Dr. Otis Manning, welcoming you to our program, Divine Encounter. Listen, right here in Montego Bay, you are invited 
every week. I mean, we are here here Saturdays at 11 a.m. Montego. The address is going to be on your screen, 680 Avenue Street. I'm just beside where we used to be, just down the road. I mean, literally on the same stretch of, of road. Literally just at the corner of where we used to be at the Ruby's gas station at Holiday Inn. Literally, let me just show you a shot quickly. That's Holiday Inn right there. And turn back to me. That's Holiday So we're literally just across from Holiday Inn. Still, this is at the Marcus Wholesale. And this is our brand new location. This is our brand new location. This is church. This is where we are. Sundays and Saturdays. See you there. 11 a.m. Weekly. Magical Bay. Saturday. We are having a brand new program, mentorship program, starting this month of June. You do not want to miss it. You are called to ministry. You believe you have a call. You believe God wants you to go to the next level. Make sure you want to sign up on DrOdisManning.com. There's a contract there with all the information that you need. I'm your personal mentor, and I'm here to help you and to take you to the next level in God. See you there. so many things that I didn't understand, so many misconceptions I had. Some things that you can only understand if you if you get into this book. I was going through a whole lot of stuff and the first thing I saw pop up was this book and I told myself I have to get this book. I'm happy that I read the book, Keys to Spiritual Warfare. It was such an excellent book that I just craved more of it. He said part two is coming so I'm looking forward to that. I am telling you, get the book for spiritual warfare that has been released a few months now keys for spiritual warfare right here on amazon you can just look for um uh, keys for spiritual war warfare from dr odisman of course you can take with my personal website dr odisman.com you get an audio version only available on my website and also you can also get a book on my website on amazon you can get a physical book or an ebook amen so you can go right there you can go to any one of my websites information will be on your screen you can also get it at kingston bookshop you can get it at all of our church branches and of course that all important number call that number and we'll be happy to give you some information how we get it and you'll be able to get your copies in fontana pharmacies island wide ministry time coming up next with the reverend dr Uzi. i'm sorry to break your broadcast but there's some testimonies i wanted you to see of the power of god how god is giving people testimonies how god is healing people how god is delivering people listen i want you to be a part of the testimonies that are being heard right here listen god is doing something and i want you to see check it out Leave the seas and the waves. Obey. Obey. What's your name? Onika. Onika. Squeeze. How are you? I'm good. Huh? I'm better. What's your name? Onika. Onika. Onika went to the hospital on when? Thursday. Thursday? Yeah. And you come out when? The same day. Come out the Thursday. She was in the hospital on Thursday. And Onika, they diagnosed you with what? They said um, the limb, the limb, the ligaments were swollen and inflamed. Swollen and inflamed. They gave her a pill. She came here still in pains. Friday. Yeah, Friday. I came Friday. And still. what happened to you Friday? Um, I was still feeling the pains over my left and right side. Mm -hmm. And then um, Pastor prayed for me. Mm -hmm. And then this, the pain uh, moved from my right. And then he prayed again and then it moved, removed from my left side. And when I sit down, I feel the pain um, going away gradually. And when I sit down, I feel about the, the area and I didn't feel anything at all. You didn't feel it? Yes. That was Friday? Yes, that was Friday. And you still got your smile? Huh? And you still have your smile? Yes, I do. God bless you, Prince. <laughs> we bless God. Let's go for Jesus. What's your name, son? Huh? Williams. Dante Williams. How old are you, son? 14. You're 14. But you don't have to live your life wearing these thick glasses. You can live a normal life. But you have to agree with me that God can do it for you. 
Can you see anything without them glasses? Um, not really. So you can't see nothing? I don't want you to be afraid, okay? You're not afraid. You're not trouble. No. You all right? Dante. Yeah. I, there's a man's bathroom or men's bathroom all the way around. I'm going to send you. Go down there and pray to God. Water is in the pipe. Wash your face and come back to me. Go. Direction. Go all the way around. He will find it. He will find it. She said, now nah, go find it. Put it in your bag. You find a bathroom? Yeah. Your mother boy, you're not gonna find it. <laughs> you're not gonna find it, Pastor. Me All right, you know that lady? Which one? This one standing. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I can see her. Huh? I can see her. You can see her? Yeah. Who's she? I don't know. Will you see her? Yeah. So you don't recognize her? No, I don't I can't see her face, it's blurry. You can't see her face clear. Yeah. Do you realize you recognize this one here? This one right here? No, this one. The one in the yellow. One in the, oh, yeah. What is she doing? <laughs> it's nothing. Huh? Nothing. She's just standing? Yeah. All right. You stand. Do something for me. She's doing her hands like this. All right. Give me some fingers. Um, five. More fingers? One. More fingers? Three, one, five, four, one, four, five, one, two, one. What's your name? Denver Fraser. Huh? Denver Fraser. Denver? Yeah, Fraser. Denver. God bless you, Denver. Lift your hands up. Down. Up. Touch your toe. Up, you're getting young man. Gone again. What happened to you two, three months ago? Well, um, I thought that I had a stroke. You had a stroke? No, no. When, when the result came back, it wasn't a stroke. It was just them say how oh, um, oxygen level was low. The what was low? Oxygen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the result came back negative. And so you're wonderful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We bless God for you. Go over your fine business. He thought he had a stroke, whatever it was, and he had some challenges. Look at him now. It's like two, three months ago. Okay, so about sometime between August and September, I fell ill and I went to the hospital. The doctor diagnosed me with chronic kidney failure stage five, sepsis, and I picked up pneumonia after. Um, it was an aggressive UTI that was causing the issue when they found out after a while. However, five days when I was declining, my kidney, starting to, kidney function starting, started to flatten, and it actually started to improve. What happened is that I had called pastor and some other churches that I had been to before and my whole family and everybody was praying for me and I remember pastor said to me if my faith is not strong it has to be strong right now and one thing I remember praying that day on my bed I was saying God you made me and I just needed to touch my kidneys and I actually got a vision of like an electrified transferring hands just touching my body and at the end of my hospital visit all of those diseases were resolved so that is it no. so we understand you had stage 5 kidney failure what does that mean that means that I would have had to go immediately on dialysis. And they put you on dialysis? They did not put me on dialysis. The, my sister purchased the catheter and the doctor said I can give it back because I didn't need dialysis. They didn't need dialysis. <laughs> so if at stage five it means 
that you would have to be on dialysis for the rest of your life. Yes, it, if, it, if my kidney didn't come no, no, back. No, 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 I'm not talking about if. Oh, no. yes, so yes. So what, because you're talking to people, they don't understand what I mean. Okay. Huh? Five, stage five. So stage five kidney okay. failure means the doctor signed you up for, they did sign you up for kidney dialysis. Yes. They booked you for dialysis. So it means that this is something you'd have to be doing every week for the rest of your life. Yes, like three times a week because I was swelling. My body was retaining water. And what the dialysis would do, it would ease off the water retention and perform the work of my kidneys because that would mean that my kidneys totally failed. And so you'd have to had to do that three times a week. Yes, three but times look a at week. Jesus, if you're praising, stand to feet and bless God. You're not praising God like He's a miracle work. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I pray that you've been blessed, you've been encouraged, and you have seen the goodness of God. Every week, it's always a pleasure to be here to present to you, amen, a phenomenal time in the presence of God, amen. And I know you've been checking on our journey, you've been watching with us, you've been following us. Listen, I know you've been encouraged by the word. I'm, I've been encouraged myself, amen. And I pray that faith will bring forth, I mean, a, a, a miracle in your life as you believe God, amen. As you've heard the word, it will bring more faith into your heart, and your, your walk and you will see the manifestation of his goodness. Wherever you're watching me from, always a privilege. Amen. Mr. Pastor, Mr. Leader, uh, Bishop, uh, Elder of the Church, Evangelist, Brother, Sister, Friend, Unsaved. It's always a privilege. You are important to God and I want you to know that. Never forget Mr. Pastor being discouraged. Be encouraged. Don't ever think that the work is too strenuous. God will encourage you. Amen. A leader, elder in the church, God will encourage you. I know it might have been amen, a little strenuous in, in um, this time, but God wants to be there with you. Listen, we have um, some prayer line numbers on screens. You can always call and you'll be able to be assisted. I mean, we'll get you some assistance. If you're a pastor, if you're a leader, and you need my personal help, I'm available. We are one. We are one body. Doesn't matter where in the world you are. If you're a minister of the gospel, amen. And uh, um, once we can verify you are a leader, you're a minister, I'm here. I stand, stand to help you. Amen. The number is going to be on your screen. 876-899-2700. 876-899-2700. Identify who you are. And we'll be happy to see how we can stand with you in this time. We'll be happy to see how we can help you and be of any support to you any way at all that we can we'll be happy to help you so the numbers will be on the screen 876-899-2700 him you'll see him work away i pray for you i pray for every person watching me lord those who are not saved that you will do a miracle in their heart if you're watching me and you're not saved there's a johnson connected god wants to do a new thing in your life johnson amen and god wants to bring transformation pam pamela god wants to do something mi miraculous marvelous in your life if you just believe in marvel wherever you are seated wherever you're watching me from i want you to believe god there's somebody be sitting like in a either in a red chair or red blanket something to do with that you'll be watching this program and god is going to be ministering in your in your heart johnson God wants to give you a new leaf in life. And if you just trust him, if you believe in him, you will see the miraculous hand of God work in miracle. Father, I pray for every person watching. I pray for them who are sick, whatever sickness is in the body, whatever disease, whatever infirmity. I pray, God, that you'll break the barrier, that you'll break the limits, you'll break the, the spirit amen that is attacking your people break it from them give them a new start in life give them a new chance in life i pray break the yokes lord and set them free open up doors open up doors beyond their expectation open their eyes and make them to see i pray for every person watching wherever they're watching from do a new thing holy one of israel do a new thing bring transformation i pray in the name of jesus christ bring transformation bring transformation i pray for every elder every minister every person gospel watching believing whatever they are going through open up the door come through for them i come against the spirit of his sickness infirmity there are those who are watching who are stretching out their hand i release healing i release healing in the name of jesus christ those who've been affected financially i speak forth healing and miracle testimony breakthrough breaking the borders breaking the limits breaking the walls and i pray for transformation in jesus mighty name amen and amen if you're not saved and you want to give your life to jesus how hard is it it's not hard at all it's about trusting god there's going to be a number on the screen i'd love to hear from you man of god i'm struggling and i want to give my heart to god or i'm a christian i'm struggling i'd love to hear from you 876-899-2700 number going to be right there don't pastor you're talking too fast no 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 the number is there right there look 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 see that's the number right there 876-899-2700 just get that number i mean you want to pray and allow jesus in your heart pray with me that's the reason why we're here 
to allow Jesus in your heart. Say with me, if you will. Say, Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I confess my faults. Wash, wash me with your blood. Cleanse me. Make me whole. Come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and Savior from this day. In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. If you pray that prayer, believe. I believe with my heart that Jesus Christ has entered into your heart. Get in touch. We'd love to hear from you. We'd love to hear what God is doing. Amen. And every week you can catch us live on Facebook. Facebook information is going to be there. By the way, we have a brand new Facebook page. Let me talk about all these beautiful things. We have a brand new Facebook page. We have a brand new cash app information. Pay attention to it. Pay attention to that. GFMIKJN at gmail.com. GFMIKJN at gmail.com. Zell and cash app information. 347 those are the info cash app anzel amen and um, our website remains the same dr otismanning.com god from the ministries.org websites remain the same you can get me on any one of those um websites amen and of course we're always here to help you whatever way we can support you in prayer amen we have our prayer line numbers i'm going to put two prayer line numbers there my secretary is not the prayer line there's going to be two my secretary will be delighted to hear that <laughs> there's going to be two prior line numbers there look at there there's two prior line numbers yeah 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 those are two prior line numbers but my secondary number if you need to help in different department eight seven six eight nine nine twenty seven hundred that's where we are amen um so persons came and asked me man of god i want to get married what if you if you want to get married yeah we'll stand with you and we'll be happy to see you get married amen and you want a beautiful venue to come and get married come on right here we'll create an atmosphere for you with the 25 folk amen please until the government says otherwise 15 rather I apologize 15 folk until the government says otherwise listen ladies and gentlemen always a pleasure to have you we're blessed that you are part of our family our ministry great to have you Mwah. love you see you next week same time until next week out of here god bless you bye bye we are having a brand new program, mentorship program, starting this month of June. You do not want to miss it. You are called to ministry. You believe you have a call. You believe God wants you to go to the next level. Make sure you want to sign up on DrOtisManning.com. There's a contract there with all the information that you need. I'm your personal mentor, and I'm here to help you and to take you to the next level in God. See you there. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Divine Encounter. Join us again next week. Same place, same time.